Hey YouTubies, Spacebot here. Coming at you from Ricardo's Upholstery, Auto Upholstery. So why did I come here? I just had my seat shaved by Ricardo the man himself. He took as much out of it as he could, it looks perfect. So I'm about to try it for the very first time, going to the bank so I can get some cash to Pam. I'll report back on how it does. If you're on a bike, you're a short rider, and I've talked about this before, if the bike is a little tall for you, best thing I can recommend to you is have the seat shaved, and that's before you do anything with the suspension, especially before you lower the thing. So, definitely do that. And if you're in the Santa Clarita area or Southern California, I recommend Ricardo, because he did a great job. He has all the proper tools that you're gonna need, that he'll need. And he has the know-how and expertise. And he's been here since uh, 1991 or so. What a difference. So I brought all the tools that I needed. Oh yeah, stops are much easier. I brought all the tools I needed to get the seat off, which is pretty simple. It's just an Allen socket. And, uh, oh my gosh, yeah. That little bit of shaving the seat made a big difference. And as you can see, he did a great job. 100 bucks. It's 100 bucks, but you know, he did a lot of work. I watched it. Watched how much work he did, and it, it's a craft. It's, uh, it's an artisanal craft. So, it's worth the money. Especially because if I mangled it and bought myself a new seat, that would have cost me a lot more, not just in uh, aggravation, but expense as well. Check out Ricardo's Auto Upholstery in Santa Clarita if you want your seat shaved, especially if you're local. And if you're not local, if you're in SoCal, just drive up. He can do it while you wait. So, hearty endorsement from SpacePod. It's a good way to make a tall bike not so tall without actually doing anything to the suspension. And it actually makes you feel like you're in the bike more instead of on it. And some people, regardless of their inseam, want that anyway. If you want that effect, you're gonna have to shave the seat. Good thing is, if you totally mess up, you can always buy a new stock seat on eBay. Because there's always people parting out bikes for whatever reason. Now, getting my right foot down, oh my god. It's actually much like the GSXR now, the way the height is on this bike. Brilliant. This is one of the best hundred dollars I've spent. This is my first mod, and definitely space pot approved. Look for the link here in the description. Ricardo's Auto Upholstery. I mean, the bike feels so much friendlier now that I've done that. Easy transition. Now, for comparison, my inseam measured from crotch to bottom of foot, 29 inch inseam. I'm five foot three. What a great mod. Now, I did a similar thing to my SV. I had that seat shaved professionally. I was very glad I did it. I paid a lot less for that. But I think uh, Ricardo did an amazing job. 100 bucks, man. It's totally worth it for the amount I'm getting out of it. What a difference. The riding position actually feels pretty good. You know, when you lower your seat, effectively you're going to raise your bars just a wee bit. Oh yeah, it's so nice to have the right the right foot be able to touch down with a minimal balancing between pushing off my left and landing on my right. There is a little bit of air time. Short riders will understand this, but it's very minimal and, and it's just amazing. What a difference. So if you're short and your bike's tall, get your seat shaved first thing. Don't even bother with aftermarket seats. They're just not, they're, they don't make enough of a difference to warrant the huge cost that you're gonna pay. Just get your seat shaved by a really good upholsterer. Frankly, preferably one who's actually worked on motorcycle seats and likes working on them. So this does put me lower in the bike, which I actually do like a lot. Because it actually relaxes the riding position as well. And it makes it so my neck isn't cranked so much looking up from being so high on the bike. I do love that. Oh, it's such a brilliant mod, so beautiful. I'm so glad I did it. My God, getting the kickstand down. Here's a good look at the seat. Modded.
You can see how good of a job Ricardo did. It looks stock pretty much. It pretty much looks stock and it's even got this nice detailing back here. <laughs> he took out as much as he could without actually messing anything up. All right, I'll be back in a minute. Changing a bike's ride height to be comfortable for you really does change the whole character of the bike, your relationship with it. It's a lot more personable. It's a lot more, it's a lot friendlier. Every single interaction you have with your feet on the ground is just easier and better, more control. There's just no real downside. If worst comes to absolute worst, just get a new stock seat, easy. But you have so much to gain. So much to gain. And really nothing to lose. Especially if you're a short rider. If you're not a short rider, disregard. <laughs> if you want to sit lower on your bike, think about it. Here you go, my friend. Hey. Thank you. Pleasure. Hey, Have a good one. Thank you.